first World Knot Tying Day, um, the 18th of December of uh, 2018. And my entry to this day and for Miko's raffle is my my conceived knot from three years ago, which I called maybe prematurely. I called it the Mabel knot because name it or you lose it. I haven't found anything like that anywhere else, which doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But it took me quite some time to get to the bottom bottom of it in a way, although I quite knew what I was doing when I conceived it in 2015. I think it was something about 14th of September that I made my first notes at least. And then I made a video, I think dated on 5th of October, but it's private. And I shared it with a few people and it was the Mabel knot tied on a 9 lead 7 byte gaucho knot. And here we have a variety of all of them. Not all of them. I also did one with a 3 pass gaucho. But uh, well, it was not really. It's workable but not so interesting in my opinion. And I haven't found it. It's somewhere deep in some of my not uh, not uh, yeah card boxes where I keep them all, and I um, want to show you these all. I didn't use Grid Maker. I didn't use any kind of software. I didn't uh, do any drawings, any calculations. I just uh, thought logically. And what you can see here, left side, is a type 2 pineapple knot of 3 lead um, somewhat bites um, Turk sets. And right beside of it you see the version with gaucho knots. So that was the idea. The idea was the gaucho knot is uh, column coded and the pineapple knot is row coded. And I wondered can I do gauchos in a kind of pineapple way? And that's what I tried to do and that's what I did. And here you can see them all. The one on the bottom right, they are the ones with uh, headhunter knots, which is the uh, gaucho equivalent of uh, even lead Turk set. So where you have these uh, uh, pineapple knots where at one side the bite comes up and there you have the same situation here um, that the bite comes up uh, in in the um, Mabel knot when you use headhunter knots. So and I termed them the same way. I call them type 1. This is type 1 where the smaller one is inside the bigger one. And this is uh, type 2, where you have uh, them um, like uh, pineapple knots, uh, the same size, side by side, so to speak. So I hope I can make um, all the videos as I like to do them. Um, I'm not sure. I probably don't make it today because Daylight is already going. It takes a little bit of time. I had a try run so as not to talk any nonsense and so so on. And um, what I also wanted to say and, and to show you is what you see here is um, the gaucho with two Spanish ring knots, gaucho type 2. And what you can see is if you kind of turn it to the other side, turn it uh, inside out, then you have another version of the knot, which is really, really good looking. Same here. I have not, uh, yeah, I've not uh, uh, pushed it down in a very uh, symmetrical way. It's kind of, uh, on one side, it's more 
yeah, it's a bit disbalanced. But I wanted to show you how it looks. And uh, maybe I can also turn this round. The one, um, how it looks on the other side. And Ute Bre, she is one of the German knot tires, very talented, does lovely things and she likes the gouge very much. And she was the one who decoded it um, some time ago. And she's always tying these uh, um, these uh, Mabel knots uh, built with a nine lead gaucho type one. And um, I think at some time I kind of, it was shown to me, I think, or whatever. Um, I think Phil Skoltok, of course, he's a wizard with uh, advanced grid maker. He um, may have done, I haven't found it again. He had done a, a grid maker grid and I must uh, admit I am not that good with a grid maker and I don't like to use it to make grids. I like to think about grids and make them there and uh, I use them for other things. I use them for very difficult or big uh, globe knots or something like that or difficult uh, Turk sets or custom knots, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know how to do it. And I don't care because if you understand the system, it's absolutely not necessary to use the grid maker. You can use the grid maker for the starting uh, gaucho or headhunter. If you don't know how to do it, you then can easily use the grid maker for that. Yeah, then you can use the grid maker to, to see and to check if the inline, the type one um, gaucho is workable because they have the same uh, the same GCD rule as Turk sets. So you cannot tie a nine lead six byte um, gaucho as such. And yeah, that's um, that's the kind of limitation that you have. And uh, yeah, I hope I'm going to be able to do the left one, which is wide enough for a man's wrist. This is one based on a 9 lead 17 byte a gaucho. You can also do them on the 9 lead 16 byte, which is the easy one, which comes from the 5 lead 9, five lead nine byte um, Turk's head. This one is a direct, direct or you could say perfect um, gaucho base knot. And I also have the videos to make this. Not the exact one, but the one for one round bigger. It's, and even if you cannot use it or it's too complicated for you, you can use the grid maker to make the start of it. So I'm going to show you the interweave of this. So I hope uh, you are all so excited like I am. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud that I got to go on the other ones and that I'm probably in the game again because after some time not working with them, um, I got puzzled myself again. And But now I see things very clear and you do not even have to know very much about the gaucho knots or headhunters, which I thought in the beginning was essential. But if you understand the rules, then you don't even have to know that. But it's, of course, better to know in difficult ones uh, where you can, like here in the type 2, um, and then also in the headhunter where the side switches all the time. It's easier if you have an understanding and know what's going on. So this is probably not uh, not for beginners. It's more intermediate or even advanced. I don't know. I just uh, did it and I just puzzled myself on these headhunter versions or on the on the um, uh, Spanish ring knot versions. They were also kind of, yeah, you can easily trip yourself up 
it's a kind of concentration um, thing too. So I hope um, we, I will get on and uh, you like it and you are, want to tie them and find them useful. And thank you.